श्रीमती कनिमोजी states like tamil nadu have a universal pds system and uh, 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 in uh, tamil nadu we give uh, free rice of 20 kilos for every ration card holder and many of the welfare schemes are all in the, also linked to the ration cards and the pds system so in cases like this uh, who bears the extra ca- cost of uh, providing for the uh immigrant other migrant uh, laborers because it will become a added burden to the state and stay the pds system is a state subject so when you're bringing something like this uh, we need a clarity about who is going to bear the cost of it thank you sir which more day pehli baat to har rajya ko there is a translation facility also it's difficult to understand i know that you can speak english very well and my question was also in english sir please no, i respect my sister uh, very often states uh, are giving something over and above the national food security program and they are welcome to do so the government central government doesn't object to it as long as the national food security program is respected the eligibility under that is given at the appropriate prices defined under the nfsa act to all the uh, beneficiaries in each state beyond that if anybody state wants to give any uh, food grains to their uh, to their vote, uh, to their uh, ration card holders the state will have to look after their own costs the central government bears 100% of the cost of providing for food grains under nfsa 100% including all transport storage uh, the distribution cost the rice milling cost 100% cost is borne by the government of india beyond that is a matter of choice for the state we do not charge any uh, value to the state over and above uh, what they must be spending on it uh, as far as using the one nation one ration card scheme is concerned for that also there is no additional charge it's a upi technology driven solution for which there is no additional charge on any uh, user